Well, if you're looking for a nail-biting military thriller that appeals to women readers, look no more. Tiger Woman is inspired by the factual events in the early stages of Vietnam's unconventional warfare setting. The book's author, John Huffman, joins us this morning as part of our book author series. John, good morning to you. Good morning, Danielle. Well, let's start off with this because congratulations are in order. The book won action adventure category of the 2010 Next Generation Indie Book Awards. Yes, I did. I was very surprised with that and very pleased. You were surprised and pleased, and it's interesting because the other thing that's surprising to you that we'll get to in a minute is the fact that women readers have responded so well to this book because the book talks about a largely undisclosed segment of the Vietnam conflict. Tell me about this, John. Very few people know the importance of the female soldier in Vietnam. Uh, they were very numerous and they were very fierce, and Tiger Woman was probably the most fierce commander of all. And so why do you think Tiger Woman, why do you think this book has resonated the way it has with women readers because you said you were just stunned. I you weren't was, expecting that. I, I did not write Tiger Woman for a female audience. I was very surprised that the females took to it like they did. I think the fact that she was such a powerful commander, such a strong commander, such an efficient commander, and when nobody expects women soldiers to be that, that effective. And so women are really drawn to that part of it. And tell me a little bit about the main character and the rogue female soldier, because I'm, I'm curious to know what the conflict is about, because they were hunting each other throughout this book. What, what was that about? Well, Tiger Woman owned the night, and she controlled the night, and we lived in terror of our own shadows at night. We owned the day. So we hunted her by day, and she hunted us by night. And uh, uh, the... Uh, one of the main characters in the book is, is Captain Christian, who is an intelligence officer who is assigned to collect information on her to help us actually track her down and capture or kill her. Okay. It, it, I have to tell you this, and, and you and I talked about this earlier. The book is very graphic. It does get very graphic in parts because you write about the hunter and the hunted and, quote, unremitting evil. You take the reader on a journey that I have to tell you, John, sometimes is uncomfortable. Was this deliberate? It was at the time, but I did not envision a female audience when I when I wrote the book. I got you. Uh, my biggest thing was we had 25,000 soldiers in the 25th Infantry Division and when I wrote the book I envisioned a male reader and I wanted to make sure it was as factual as possible uh, so that the, the reader could understand why we hated this commander so so fiercely and why and, we hunted her. And let's talk a little bit about it being as factual as possible because it is based on factual events and I think that's an important point to make. You served in Vietnam when? In 1966 and 67, the first tour, and 1972 and 73, the, seven, uh, the second tour. And you all hunted Tiger Woman? Yes, for seven weeks. From the time, first time she appeared to we, uh, the, the, the last time we heard from her was a seven, seven week span, a very intense period. How does her story end, do we know? There's two schools of thought. I actually uh, ended this Tiger Woman the way I think most likely that it ended. But nobody knows for sure. Uh, uh, we think we killed her, but there is some doubt. She never struck again. So. Okay, are you surprised that a woman rogue soldier could be so, I don't know, evil, I guess is probably the best word you, to use to describe her. In Vietnam, the, the infantry over there faced female soldiers often, and we knew instantly. You rarely seen the enemy unless they were killed or dead or wounded. Uh, so you fought battles back and forth without actually seeing the enemy with the smoke and the carnage, but you could always tell when you were fighting a female soldier. Why was that? Versus a male. A female would fire longer bursts from her AK-47, uh, and she would stand her ground stronger. She would not give up her ground. A man would fire a three to five round burst. A female would fire a five to eight round burst. Mm -hmm. And a male soldier would give up ground when you put pressure on them. A female would fight you till, till you pushed her back. Really? So by the sound of the battle, we knew instantly if we were facing female soldiers or male. Do we know what caused Tiger Woman to become Tiger Woman? There are many, once again, I, we did not know her until we killed her. We simply hunted her and we operated off intelligence. We operated off a rumor, innuendo, 
Um, there were uh, several Viet Cong that had turned to our side that gave us information. But to be exacting, no, I, I, the only time I ever laid eyes on her is when, when she was dead. And you write this book from the heart and from experience, don't you? I do. I lived this, uh, this whole seven weeks. Our platoon was one of the primary platoons that hunted her down and chased her. And we were night and day in the field trying to, trying to locate her. Well, I have to tell you, very interesting. Very quickly, with about 20 seconds left, what do you hope readers take away from it, John? Uh, this, this book came out about a, uh, over a dinner one night when somebody mentioned the females being the, uh, the, the, general, uh, the, the gentler and uh, uh, sex. So I said, there's nothing gentle about the female. And I started telling the story of Tiger Woman, and they said, you've got to write this book. And, uh, and so you did. So I did. And so you did. It's found a female audience as well. John, thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing this book with us. And I know that you have several other books as well that are kind of along the same theme, right? That's true. I've got uh, six other books. Three of them are war stories, two of them is love stories, and two of them is a mystery. Love, mystery, and war. All right, John, thanks for joining us on the show this morning. Thank you for having me, Danielle. Same time. And again, the book is called Tiger Woman. For more information on John or the book, please visit the website johnwhuffman.com.